back on the convention floor here at San Diego Comic-Con, and uh, I'm at a booth that I am not a stranger to, and that would be Loot Crate, and joining me is Chris from Loot Crate. Chris, how are you? Doing very well. Day two. How's uh, Comic-Con been going for Loot Crate? It's been awesome. This is our first big booth ever, and so we've done a couple exclusive crates and are trying to keep up with the madness. So what, what's the theme here of this year for San Diego Comic-Con? What are we doing? So we're doing a creature theme crate and a cosmic theme crate. And so we have a $50 and $100 ultra premium crates with all San Diego Comic-Con exclusive items in them as well. Is that $100 one, that big one that I see everybody that's peeking apart, like uh, it's, people have those big Funko Pop bags and stuff exactly. like that, and it's the one peeking up on the top? Yep. Yeah, it's, a, it's probably four or five times bigger than a normal box. I'm guessing it's worth 100 bucks. It's, it's Yeah, I think it's already selling on eBay for 400 So, Are you sold out? Uh, we, we do an allotment every day. So we do. What about for today? today? Yeah, we're sold, we sold out in a couple hours. Oh, God damn it, I was going to ask for one. All right, never mind. Uh, so uh, tell me about the $50 one that you got here that says Creature on it. Creature. Yeah, so it's, you know. A, and they're numbered, too. Yeah. Oh, yeah, so these are all limited edition. We had 10,000 of the Creature and 2,000 of the Cosmic. Um, this one has a wide array of things from Godzilla and some kaiju to uh, Ghostbusters, Jurassic World, uh, some DC stuff. So it's just the way we do curation. Like Creatures. Everything. Creatures, yeah. Now the Cosmic Box, which is I guess is sold out right now, but you'll have replenished uh, as the days go by. Uh, what does that entail? That is, there's some really badass Star Wars stuff in there uh, and just general kind of sci-fi, cosmic items. But I can't be too specific. I know, I know. That's the part of the, it's part of the fun and the frustration when dealing with blind boxes like Loot Crate here. Um, so, besides from the purchasing of this, and we uh, right before we started, there was a lady here going completely nuts and sweating very hard um, about uh, her love for Loot Crate. Do you find that you feel uh, a lot of people are like that lady? We I mean, we, got, we have awesome fans and a really awesome community, and we've tried to make it even an event like this, which is huge. We're really personal and open and friendly with everybody, and I think people love that about us. And uh, you know, this is—we're probably doing 40 cons and events this year, and so we get to know everybody personally, which is rad. So yeah, that not everybody's that fired up, and we love to see that, but but people generally know that we're we're excited to see them. Now I got to uh, talk with everyone from Loot Crate at last year's New York Comic Con, and the box was nowhere near as impressive as as what you guys uh, are doing this year. You've really stepped it up. Can we expect the same thing in New York? Yeah, I think what we learned there was if you're going to do it, it's got to be the best. And so everything has to be exclusive. It's got to be just ridiculously cool. Yeah, just yeah. can't have the sticker on it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, you can't. You can't. In that one, we had two or three exclusive items, but there were things in there that weren't. So I think when we do exclusive crates now, it's going to be 100%. Even the items themselves will be exclusive. Uh, what else can you tell me about? Uh, well, I also noticed you've got a pavilion here. It's not just like a booth or a setup. It's a it's two tier. You've got like a whole thing on the top here. It's the world's <laughs> largest loot crate. So it's a two story crate with a whole upstairs. We're doing a bunch of video production. Is it all made out of the boxes? <laughs> if only. <laughs> yeah, it's a little shaky for the cardboard. Uh, yeah, this is like this is. We I have no idea how this was even put together, but it's freaking awesome to see for us. Um, but yeah, so to give a little bit of description, it's a two-story crate, and then on the bottom floor we have a bunch of TVs playing all of our theme videos from before and a bunch of unboxing videos. Uh, and then we've been doing the crate sales all day here and just kind of interacting and hanging out with folks. And then we, we have a, an off-site at Nerd HQ where we're doing kind of a Cylon target practice contest, which is going really well, too. Which is uh, Zach Levi's thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a great partnership to have. The last box that you guys put out, I guess that's what the, she was talking about, the cyber thing being epic. Yeah. But uh, yeah, had the uh, the inclusion of uh, Zach Levi's uh, Nerd HQ stuff in there. Yeah. The Terminator head, which was which was amazing. A lot of great stuff in there. Yeah, that was uh, our, kind of our, our lead creative came up with turning the box. We went with a full lithographic print and turning the box into like a a full Terminator scene, and I think that when we saw the finished product, it was, it was rad. Uh, what can we expect uh, as far as uh, each month you're doing a different theme, and it's usually kind of um, tying into what's going to be big pop culture-wise. Like uh, you, when Game of Thrones was coming back, you had stuff that with mythical creatures and things mm -hmm. like that. Uh, are you looking at something maybe Doctor Who-wise when it comes back in the fall? What are we looking at for the rest of the year? Yeah, so for the rest of the year, I think we're like with with fantasy in April with Game of Thrones. We also did Princess Bride. And, and some of those kind of older fun references alongside that kind of new, right. what's interesting, so I think we'll keep that up. With Heroes coming out this month, 
we have a cadence that may be similar to last year with what comes next. Uh, and then we'll be doing, there's a 30th anniversary for some big properties. So without being able to say anything. <laughs> but we do know what huge movie is dropping in December. I'm guessing <laughs> we might try to do some cool things around that. Um, but yeah, I, I almost started to talk about our themes. You almost okay. got me. Now he's gripping my shoulder really tightly. So he's like, I can't you tell almost, you. I you cannot stress me. what this is, <laughs> but you know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Chris. Uh, Loot Crate, of course, go online, lootcrate.com, uh, to subscribe, slash Opie, you know, since you guys advertise with us. Uh, definitely check out everything here. Since you can't be at the con, you can always see on eBay what people are really grossly, you know, raping you on the yeah, price no, for yeah. to see all the cool stuff that Loot Crate has here, and you should have been here. But, like you said, New York Comic Con is only in a, uh, three months, yeah. about three months, so they're really stepping up their game uh, to bring everything back to New York and to make everybody happy. Awesome. Yeah, th thanks a lot. All right, let's go to break, and uh, we'll be back with more of It's Eric Nagel live at San Diego Comic-Con. All right, now we'll pause for a second. Sweep your stuff, blah, blah, blah. Actually, we're not gone. <laughs> we're back here live at Loot Crate on the floor of San Diego Comic-Con because it's time for a live read. And who is it from? Loot Crate. Yeah. How ironic is that? I, we've, I don't think we've ever done our own read. This is, this is a very first... Loot Crate live read. Well, Never. you're going to do it with yeah. me here. So I'm going to start off with this point. So it starts off with uh, comic book superheroes, secret agents, fire-breathing dragons. If you're looking for that perfect gift for that geek in your life, or just want to treat yourself to something fun and exciting every single month, go to LootCrate.com. Yes, LootCrate.com is the ultimate monthly service for geeks, gamers, and pop culture fanatics. Sign up today, and for less than $20 a month, Loot Crate will send you a specially themed mystery box filled with hand-picked apparel, collectible, collectibles and licensed gear from all your favorite franchises like Marvel, The Walking Dead, Star Wars, Game of Thrones, and more. Each month's box features a new theme inspired by movies, TV shows, and video games. Well, this month's theme is Heroes, and coincidentally enough, there's a big Heroes Pavilion right outside of the Comic-Con here from NBC. Uh, so the theme is Heroes this month, because when mad men are on the loose and evildoers plot to destroy the world, you can always count on superheroes to save the day. This month, get an amazing item... Uh, Try that again. This month, get amazing items from Zelda and Star Trek, as well as exclusive figures from DC Entertainment. That is awesome. Go to LootCrate.com slash Opie right now to sign up. And for a limited time, use the promo code Opie at checkout to save $3 off any new subscription. Go to LootCrate.com slash Opie now. That's LootCrate.com slash Opie. Thanks a lot, looters. So this has been a first of Loot Crate doing their own live read, yeah. and you heard it here on the Opie Radio channel on It's Eric Nagel. Chris, thank you so much. Thank you so much, Eric. We'll be back with more of the show live from the Comic-Con floor. Uh, go to commercial.